Look at them all. Two, 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 right here. Take them, Larry. Good morning, folks. We're here with Midwest Outdoors. I'm John Brze, Russ Toller, Adam Fugit, Joshua Riley, and Larry. We're hunting here by Braywood Lake. Uh, we got a couple already this morning. There's a bunch of born birds coming off. Hopefully we can get a couple more. There we go. I uh, had a few come in. I uh, probably shouldn't have taken his long poke. He sailed, but he went down. Woo! Good job, buddy. Good job, guys. Yeah, I've been getting a uh, few uh, singles and doubles. Uh, coming in and uh, wanting to commit, but it seems like the larger flocks, they're looking, but not wanting to commit. Yeah, the decoys, we got them uh, pretty tight together. They're wanting to land in one main pocket right now, but uh, gonna get out and switch it up and maybe uh, spread them out a little more, see if that works a little better. So John, while we're mixing up the flambeau spread here, tell us a little bit about the layout of the land and how we're hunting these ducks today. Uh, we're, we're watching the birds get up off the lake. Uh, we're hunting in beans. Uh, we're trying to move the flambeaus out a little bit away from the, the tree line where our blind's at here. Uh, to give them a little more safety away from the tree line. We're, we're widening it out a bit and uh, hopefully they come in and give us a good look. Because it seems like they're, they're wanting to land right in the corner. Yeah, they're, they're wanting to go right to the corn. We're, we're trying to manipulate them enough to come into the beans and, you know, get them to change their mind and feed out here. Uh, we, we've gotten some good looks, but, uh, you know, I think changing the, the flambeaus up a little bit, we're, we'll get some better looks for sure. Good deal. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Nice shooting. Nice. There's a bunch of them. <laughs> Nice shoot, buddy. Oh, we had a lot of other ducks working us. Didn't want to just shoot uh, one duck. Wanted the majority of them to come in and uh, get a chance at taking a few more. So we let the one land to see if the other ones were going to work. <laughs> Nice shooting, boys. Good job. Had probably 100, 150 birds come in. I think we dropped quite a few of them. Did pretty good. Yeah, we're hunting over these flambeau decoys. We got a few older decoys here. We're hunting over these Stormfront 2 decoys with a UV uh, paint scheme on them. They're uh, working real well. A lot of times when you get a big flock like that coming in, you want to let some land. But with as many birds are pulling in behind us, uh, we decided to take some and we did pretty good. Looking hard. Looking hard. Shoot them too. Uh, clipped her. Oh, 
<laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> I couldn't take it no more. <laughs> I couldn't take it no more. <laughs> Turn and turn right here. Kill them. There we go. There we go. Uh, no. No. Nope. Nice, hey, nice shot, Rush. Oh, there's another one. Guys. For my first hunt, I can't thank you for a better one. <laughs> this was awesome. Birds were a little finicky at first. Uh, we made some minor adjustments. Uh, it's a game of inches with the, with the pocket, and we made it just right, and they were sucking right in. Folks, if, you, if you're having trouble bringing the birds in, you might want to just experiment a little bit with your decoy spread. Hey, I'm Larry Ladowski with Midwest Outdoors from Braidwood Lakes area. Midwest Outdoors, be right back. We'll catch you later.